all the exciting things you can dream. We're building boards with caps and connectors, put them together, adding the wheels. Children are playing, working and trying, constantly challenged by their fantasy. All new ideas turn into inventions, exciting to see what it turns out to be. Expand. Maxomec is a new toy that just hit the market. And we have tried it at home and the kids are so excited, Sule, about this. Yeah, you know, I'm excited too when our kids are excited because it's, you know, it's, they get so creative and they don't even walk around in the kitchen anymore. They come rolling on a, a wagon or a car or a, yeah, a bike, you name it. it it's amazing. We're building palaces, islands and airplanes, all the exciting things you can dream. We're building boards with caps and connectors, put them together, adding the wheels. Children are playing, working and trying, constantly challenged by their fantasy. All new ideas turn into inventions, exciting to see what it turns out to be. We're very thankful that we have the inventor and the founder of Maximac, Stefan Karsten with us, and how did it all come to pass that you all of a sudden hit Maxamec? Well, we, we do want to make the children before seven entrepreneurs with a good heart. That's a, that's a summary of what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And that's why we do have this creative toy, which uh, came from searching the market what was missing. Uh, together with Maxamec Stories, uh, we launched together. Uh, what we want with Maxamec Stories and the toy is to develop five areas for the children. It's the creativity, it's the dreaming. It's very important that the children can learn how to dream to get out of where they are living and see something else. The third part is, of course, adventure. And these three are making a, a child into an entrepreneur if it's done right. The fourth part is very important, and that is the values, what's right and wrong. And that's missing in schools and everywhere, and the cost of lying. You know, uh, lying creates corruption. You never know what comes out of that. But we, we want to do that, right? The fifth part is nonviolence. So the five areas is very important part of our vision. Is the, to the toy, Maxamec. Uh, that is all kind of building parts that you have shown us. And, uh, and you can put them together by a uh, little triangle. Uh, but how, how did you come up with this? Was it a dream or did you always see something or uh, was it something that you saw in your son? Or what was it? No, was I it was, a special need? I was playing with my son. Mm -hmm. uh, he was five years of age at that time. And what I could see is that he used the toy once and when he couldn't change it, he moved it aside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could be very expensive motorbikes, uh, pedal cars, you, you name it. But uh, Lego, we, when we made Lego together, he made the figures and changed it immediately. Mm -hmm. But there is nothing in the bigger size. Mm -hmm. There is no big toys you can change. Mm -hmm. um, and what my mind was working on, what's missing in the toy trade? And I was analyzing, playing with Alfred, of course, and the way he behaved. I even had to buy him a carpenter bench so he could make his own toys because mm -hmm. he was so fed up with what was in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. But with this thing, he can create many things. And when he has created them, he can take them apart and create yep. something else. Yep. And it's, you say that the, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit for this. Uh, and it, we want to start with a newly born child. Mm -hmm. We want to, to uh, make them, have the parents to make them a walk stroller so they can yeah. start to walk. Mm -hmm. And then, meanwhile, it can be used for doll play. Uh, instead of doll houses, they can make a doll carriage, doll bed, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, this wheel takes over. So they, they can make their own scooter. Mm. They can make their own children furniture. And my country house is full of walk strollers and children furniture. I cannot use them for anything else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with Maxamec, you can move it into a go-kart later yeah. on. You know, with and it will last. I mean, this yeah. is a lasting toy. I, I mean, this is more than a toy. This can, uh, this can hold me. Probably two of me. This is, this is uh, good stuff. Well, the, the importance, and we kept working for many years about this. We now have a quality. Uh, everything is made by furniture companies, it's a furniture quality, and it lasts for a long time with everyday play in the preschool for many children.
But um, uh, talking about toys, is this the first toy that you ever made? No, uh, I was lucky uh, to, to get involved in, in a dollhouse company and we gave Barbie a fight in the world. Mm -hmm. And we won most of the fights we had, at least in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I stepped out of that 92. There's a story also that comes with the toy. Yeah. And, and the story is being given like in a book or is in a, on a video coming to the kid. How did you get the story? Every cartoon, every kit has a cartoon inside with a story. Mm -hmm. We uh, have an intention to come up with four stories a year. There will be films about the stories, etc. That's incredible. It needs to be, I mean, to keep a kid watching a story with a toy, that must be exciting. I mean, the story must have some... Some good, uh, some good stuff in there. You know, kids are used to, yeah, they're used to violence, action. They, they're used to, not, they're not surprised of anything. What in the story do you think will be most of value for the kids? Well, children love creativity. Uh -huh. If you stimulate it right, they love the dreaming. Uh -huh. They like the adventure. And, and uh, the rest we add on in the stories. All the, the, the people, if we call it people, in the stories, you can make with the parts. They can make the part. They the, can the, make the figures. Own, the scene. All figures with the parts. So, but in the movie, the figures are moving around. But the kids can go and make the, all the figures they see. They can make their own crocodile. They can make their own dog. They can make their own cat. All the animals involved, they can make. <laughs> who, who is who is the story about? Max is, uh, is a robot. Okay. Max is is. Um, the good man, he is the fixer. He has a start kit of Maximex to fix everything. A robot, a made, robot. By, a robot made by Maximex Only Maximex parts. parts. Okay. Everyone in the story, every figure is, is made by, by Maximex parts. Okay. It means the children can go in to their, their room and make the, the, the figures they like to be friends with, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that's why the, the most difficult part to do, and positive, is to do the right eyes and the right figures to oh. all this. And Max is telling them the story, and hopefully a story that will create some good values in the children. Not hopefully, uh, it's going to be the fact. What is the acceptance that you find among the children for the product? Well, acceptance is, is fantastic. Yeah. At the moment, we, we believe that we have the best tool, education and toy tool in the world. Mm -hmm. We have uh, got the Parents' Choice Award gold for the product, we got silver for the manual. The Parents' Choice Parents Award. Parents' Choice in wow. America is the finest award of 2,000 toys a year. We have the same in Germany called, called uh, Spielgut. Uh, but the best awards we have had so far is that the Technical Museum in Munich, uh, which is according to the German the best in the world, yeah. have chosen our toy as the only toy among a competition from everything else. No kidding. For their museum. The vision behind Maximac is to stimulate the creativity for children. We have a very creative toy and we have Maximac stories which will stimulate the five areas. One is to stimulate the creativity, one is to stimulate the dreaming which is important for children and the third is to stimulate adventure. These three makes an entrepreneur one day. The fourth are the values, what's right and wrong and the cost of lying. And the fifth is nonviolence. This is the Maximac vision. Besides the awards we have, we have a lot of testimonies coming in from the marketplace. And uh, one of the best, of course, is uh, the first kit I gave to my son Alfred's uh, school. And uh, the teachers told me just afterwards that this was the first time they got a toy and they didn't have to tell the children anything. They knew exactly automatically by their own imagination what to do with the toy. Uh, this is a good help for all teachers out there. Another very, very heartbreaking story is in Dubai, where we have an office for the Middle East. Um, one of the prince in uh, the family in Saudi Arabia, with all his children and wife, came to stay at the hotel where we have the office. And um, he got, of course, a Maxime kit for the children. A couple of days later he came up and, and he said one of his children has Down syndrome and this was the first time he could play with a toy without an instructor. One thing is to have come up with all of this kind of thing, another thing is to get it into the marketplace. 
Uh, you have been in the toy business before, and uh, how does that actually work? The, the toy business is very capital intensive, you do the traditional way, and it's controlled by five large companies. They produce 20% of the toys in the world, but they control 80% of the shelf space. Mm -hmm. So because the stories, because the vision, because of all the rest around Maximac, we've decided to go directly to the consumer. Mm -hmm. So direct marketing, viral marketing, that's our way to get the message out. So that means that all the middle people, you have taken them yeah. to the side. Yeah. So, it's, uh, so that way we can cut the price and we can keep uh, the profit for the sales people. Where, where, do you, where do you produce it? We, at the moment in Lithuania and in, in China. We open Brazil at the moment as well. And we will start in India after that. Well, you, th you think you can produce enough? <laughs> we believe so. <laughs> this is great. Um, you, there is also a, a special thinking behind it, that you not only want to create a toy and make a lot of money, but you also mentioned that it is a special reason for the, well, the way you have set it up. Well, the reason uh, is all about uh, the violence out there. Mm -hmm. um, down to the basic. Uh, if we don't stop the violence for children, uh, from films from Hollywood or, or these computer games where people are, are rewarded for killing others, mm -hmm. um, we, we will lose generations of children in the world. Mm -hmm. And my passion is, is of course, is the children and what we can do for them. And uh, I don't believe then you, you can stop things by saying it's forbidden. Uh, I believe in to have a better product that takes the children away from that with the stories, uh, with the product and, and uh, create that way a better world for children. Uh, so the trust fund in America owns all the patents and the security behind this toy and 90% of all the proceeds goes back to the children in the world in three areas. One is um, uh, children in need, of course. The second is education, which this is part of education. And the third part is where corruption destroys children. We try to support people who dare to, to stop that. Mm -hmm. Well, we are looking for special people, aren't we? For uh, finding the right in the uh, United States, and in Canada, in uh, Mexico, and other parts of the world. Uh, what kind of people are you looking for? We are looking for people that really understand the message and the passion. They can take over this passion we have, that we can change the world for children. And it, it, it's in a hurry. So it, it, it's a matter of a combination to make money and to be happy every day you wake up because you have something good you can do. Maxmec has only a few employees at the head office in Gothenburg, Sweden. All work is done by outsourcing and direct sales. There will be unit leaders over each continent of the world. The sales force will be made up of regional managers, sales managers and sales personnel. In the United States, there will be 20 regional managers. Each of these will recruit 20 sales managers. And each sales manager will recruit as many sales personnel as they desire for their area. Every sales manager will have an area for a population of one half to one million people. This means there will be at least 100,000 children in the sales territory. The sales manager and sales personnel will do direct sales to preschools, churches, kindergartens, and playgrounds. They will have access to shopping centers, local stores, and many other outlets. In short, wherever there are children, there is a possibility for Maximec business. Because Maximec has eliminated the middle person in the distribution process. There will be at least 60% more profits for the sales force and marketing. Do you believe that this is the right timing for this product into the marketplace? It's the right timing. Uh, personally, I've been waiting for some time to get the timing right, but we are looking for people who have the passion you need the passion, you need the understanding, you need to see the timing is right and we can't wait. We have to move to save the children because the children is our future. We're building Maximac. We're building Maximac.